Hello, bonjour, salut, ça va? Uh, we're here again day two of the Stuber Cup and I'm here with Pierre-Yves, who is designer at Super. Uh, what have we got here, Pierre-Yves? Hey, hello. Um, here is the, the new product we announced during this uh, Stubai Cup. It's the um, Eco 2, the second generation of our uh, super light mountain glider. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, sure. So listen, the Echo 2, uh, when was the Echo 1 launched? Wow, Echo 1 was um, a light version of the first cool wing we had, which was the Iona 1. So I think it was released um, five years ago. Okay, so proper time for an upgrade, Echo 2. Yeah. Uh, so it has, uh, what is different from this, from the Echo 1 to the Echo 2? What are the main... Uh, updates. Yeah, okay. Um, the, the Echo 1 was based on the Eona 1, then we had the Eona 2, and now we have the Eona 3. And this Echo 2 is based on the Eona 3. So there is two generations of uh, research in between the Echo 1 and this one. Um, the main difference is we decided to have a, a bigger range. Echo 1 was only 21 and 23 square meter, 20 sorry, and 23 square meter. This, this glider, this new model, is um, in size 16, size 20, then, um, no, sorry, 16, uh, 89, uh, 19, uh, 21, 23, and 26. So we'll have in total uh, five different sizes. This glider is a bit less uh, demanding than the Echo One. The Echo One was an ENB glider, and the Echo One was more sensitive, a bit more rolling than this one. Okay. This one is um, is more stable, less rolling, and it's less demanding. It's it's easier for someone that is climbing to the Mont Blanc or whatever, and they arrive really tired at the top. Yeah. Can use this glider without, well. No need any control, just go, the glider inflate like super easy yeah. and you can really use it like um, a tool to, to fly down from the mountain. Uh, we decided to have the, the um, three bigger size in ENA, so it's also a glider that the school can use. This is a demand. Some of the school are uh, now asking for um, teaching with uh, mountain wings to the students. So you can use it, and then the smaller size, the size 16 and 19, the 19 will be certified in ENB, and the 16 is a different program, is more glider, I mean for advanced pilot that wants a glider which is dynamic and they want to have a very light package and fly, but it needs for sure um, more skills than the bigger sizes, yeah, it's it not be certified in C, ENC. Okay, ENC. So out of, uh, what's the most popular size, do you think? What will be the most popular size? I mean, really, what I'm asking is, uh, do most people buy it as an ENA glider, or do most, do lots of people buy it as the sort of fast, more dynamic wing? Uh, I think the most popular will be the size 21 and 23. Yeah. The size 26 uh, is is really um, uh, is okay for uh, heavy pilots or for pilots with not a big experience. It's more like flying with a ENA glider, school wing. But with 21, uh, you can have a very large um, kind of use. You can yeah. use it for mountain or training and still in ENA certified with a very big range. Cool. So let's have a look at the risers. Yeah, sure. uh, they look very straightforward and simple. Yeah. I, I would be happy to use these on top of Mont Blanc, I think. <laughs> yeah, the, the main change from the Echo one is that we decided um, uh, instead of saying, okay, let's go for a model which is lighter and lighter and lighter, we say, no, we should stay at the same weight, but make the glider more user-friendly. Yeah. Because we believe it's more important to have a very user-friendly glider than a 20 or 50 grams lighter glider. It makes no sense. Just change your shoes. Most of the time you choose, a, you can find lighter shoes and, and win 50 grams. So. I think very user-friendly is making a very big difference if you're tired. We decided to change. The, the first Echo uh, was released with Dyneema risers and Dyneema, they are really soft and very easily getting twist and it's taking you some focus to put the risers in the right position, the right side. So, uh, I asked Cousin uh, two or three years ago during the Coupe Picard to design a custom webbing only for Super and I asked them to make a 7 mm webbing Uh, same style at the 12 millimeters webbing they already produced. So this webbing is polyester and inside is Kevlar. So it's very strong and it's um, it's it's more rigid. It's uh, it's less soft than the Dyneema one. Okay. So we had for one year the exclusivity on this product and then no all the brand can order this product. But we are really really 
happy and really proud of being the first one to use it. And uh, yeah, that's it, amazing. So seven millimeters in, inside is Kevlar. I mean, yeah. it, the, the technology behind that is quite <laughs> incredible. Did it take many uh, tests to get that right? Yeah, it it was a challenge um, for um, explaining, and, and we had a lot of prototypes with the company the, um, production unit because it's it's really hard to sew seven millimeters. Every uh, sewing point is important. Yeah. You do not have something really, uh, yeah, it's it's not thick, and you really need to make sure that it's it's strong enough. So, um, yeah, we had to to work on it. So it's all about the details. Um, and can you give us a quick idea about how it is to fly? How does it feel in the air? Uh, the glider is um, extremely easy to inflate. Um, we have a very big weight range. This is um, we, with the Birdie and the Aena Iona, sorry, 3. We learn a lot of things uh, about the internal structure uh, or to have a long brake range. Uh, having a long brake range is not meaning that the glider is not turning when you pull on the brake. It just means that you have a lot of range before the, the glider starts stalling, which makes you really in safety, especially when you're flying overloaded, especially when you're flying tired, and when you focus on other things than actively piloting the wing. So to get this, we have some bands into the glider in between the B and C lines. This is kind of artificial extra row of line. Okay. And um, the problem, the glider, most of the time they are losing the flight because when you start pulling on the brake, first you pull on the trailing edge, then the D row of line is getting no more intention, mm -hmm. then it's the C. And every time it's making a step, when you pull on the brake, when you release suddenly the C line because you're braking a lot, the profile is completely changing. And at this moment you can have the glider stalling. Having this extra band from one tip to the other is making um, it's making an artificial extra row of line. Mm -hmm. It's not a row of line, but it keeps the profile in 3D with the good shape and that makes the range, the brake range longer. And this is really important. A lot of bands have been removed to gain some weight on the glider, but some bands, large bands from one tip to the other are still there because we believe it really makes the glider having a, a nice behavior for this kind of use. Um, and pilots can buy this glider now, it's available to demo? Yeah, uh, we already have the sizes 19, 21 and 23 ready, certified, and uh, we will certify it very soon the smaller one, the 16, and also the 26. Okay. And we're hearing a lot about production from all the manufacturers this year. How is production with Super? Well, uh, it's, uh, it was really challenging. Uh, we have been facing some uh, lack of uh, materials, we have been facing all these things. Uh, hopefully Super is a big company and we had the, um, the opportunity to have enough cash flow to order a lot of stock in advance. So we really pushed the production to order even if there was no, no customer in front of the, 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 the gliders. So yeah. we had stock and with this stock we managed to be always able to, to get glider. And okay. sell so the waiting times are okay? Yeah, uh, I would say we were... It was hard time, but we passed through uh, better than other brands, I think. Cool. All right, well, listen, thank you very much, and have a You're great welcome. day today, and a good day tomorrow. Um, have you been flying yourself? Yeah, uh, we had a fantastic flight. We have the opportunity of having um, family pilots here. So we were uh, seven pilots flying the ACO yesterday, and I bring uh, Maeva, which is one of my colleagues, flying tandem. And we had the chance to climb all the way to the higher mountain, and we did some fantastic... Uh, Movies yesterday. I think oh, uh, we'll have something really interesting for launching the glider. We'll have a nice movie. Excellent. Again to get today. Thank you very much, Pierre. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You. Bye. Bye.